American food companies are making inroads into China's huge fast food market. But as CBS News correspondent Celia Hatton reports, your favorite snacks are getting a major flavor makeover. Every major U.S. food label, it seems, is trying to bite into China's $186 billion fast food and processed food industries by creating new products designed just for Chinese taste buds. This Beijing supermarket's filled with brands that might look familiar, but flavors that definitely aren't. Tropicana cantaloupe juice, orange-flavored Chips Ahoy cookies, and Chinese herbal medicine Wrigley's gum. But it's Frito-Lay potato chips that really push the boundaries. Early taste tests revealed that Chinese people didn't like popular American flavors like sour cream and onion. So product researchers came up with new flavors inspired by traditional Chinese food, from Sichuan spicy to sweet and sour tomato, all the way to the sugary end of the spectrum with cucumber flavor, lychee, and mango. The market is extremely competitive, so there are many new products that are being launched regularly onto the marketplace. Popular American chains are also getting in on the idea. McDonald's has purple taro pie. Starbucks offers coffee drinks with jelly cubes on the bottom. And KFC's got spicy squid on a stick. These products may seem wacky in the U.S., but there's serious pressure to be the object of Chinese cravings. China's going to become the second largest, if not largest, consumer market in the world in the next five years. So if American companies don't figure out how to get it right in China, they're going to be missing out on what should be their major generator for growth. Even the toothpaste companies can't afford to ignore the flavor game. From Lotus Flower Crest to Salty Colgate, every corner of the grocery store is trying to tempt China's curious consumers. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing. All I know is that those were not the Chinese snacks I had growing up. Right. And I brought some in here, and I'm told oh. that you guys have the same snacks as me, so we I just do? want to make sure. Yeah. Do you have an egg custard? Oh, thing? yeah. Oh, yeah. Right okay. here. Looks that good. That I encourage all of you to try. I like to call it, um, it's kind of like a Chinese creme brulee. The crust oh. is a little bit salty. The center is sweet. So you get uh, this savory mm. kind of taste. Yeah. You That's good. It. It's good. Yeah. All right. Lonnie likes it. Wait. I like it. Don't what be afraid. What else we got? What else are we looking wait, at? Wait, wait, wait. Who, wait, wait. Who didn't try? I don't see well, Mal. We don't have time to try them all, Julie. Come yeah, on. We do. Chris. Pound cake. <laughs> I'm going easy on you here. <laughs> the crowd that outside wants the... some of this food. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you're eating the wrong one. I like this one. <laughs> that one you won't like. I like. No, I like this one. Okay, that's the um, white sponge cake, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, it kind of has like a uh, slippery texture to it, right? It's good though. You do like it? I I'm do like impressed. it. Yeah. yeah, I do like Harry, it. Harry, what did you eat? Oh, that's awesome. I love the sponge cake. Okay, and the last um, mm -hmm. one is a deep fried sesame ball. Mm -hmm. And if you take, if you break it in half, uh, which I'll cut here, mm -hmm. there is sweet bean paste inside. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be the daring one no, to it's try good. it? It's Harry's like all over. Cold, Harry's got it. It's like a baozi with uh, sweet stuff on the inside, <laughs> right? It's good food. Yes. Uh, right? I li I'm very impressed with your Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little distracted in here, Julie. You'll have to excuse us. Right. Enjoy. We have to go to commercial. We'll be right back. I like the tremble.